incredibly critical that you get all these different components. Now I've kind of shot across the bow with them in some ways through our last two sessions, but we're going to go deep on the creating of a foundation, the outputs for your foundation. So let's kind of set the stage of what we're aiming to achieve here is this, that we know what it will take for us to kind of hit that first finish. Line. And that first finish line is the break even finish line where the amount of money we're making, and I'm going to challenge you to make that through recurring revenue, rebills, subscription income is equal to our break even. I'm going to challenge you to do that within a year to 18 months. Now I've been able to do that. Typically I can do that within six to 10 months with the different revenue streams that I get going. But I'm also very clear that my break evens are ultra low because here's what I know. I know that thanks to Tim Ferriss in 2006, I didn't need 90% of the stuff that I had to live a happy, healthy life. As a matter of fact, the less stuff I have, the better I feel. So I had all this stuff that had recurring expense to it, a motor home, a boat, all these things. I can rent a boat. I can rent a motor home and boom, I don't have these massive recurring expenses and inflationary expenses. Meaning that, uh, if the motor homes generator broke down, that was a couple thousand. If I did the repair on the boat, that was a couple thousand, like these variable expenses throughout the year. Don't have that anymore. My, uh, break even my cost of living and having the studio and the home and, and my studio in the sky and my, uh, a room in my condo just did it because, and I didn't do it for COVID. I did it way before that. I did it because I wanted a place where I could just go flip on a couple buttons and just record and live my purpose. So I'm just kind of throwing this stuff out at you to really understand what a break even is and how to lower the total cost. Here's what we know. Most millionaires have seven or more revenue streams. And my job is to help you understand that every income stream you have, you should have already calculated how to get to break even with it without killing yourself. So a lot of people are like, Char, I'm coaching and this is my price per, per session. And if I do 62 sessions a week, then I hit my break even. That's not sustainable. I can tell you it's about 12 to 15 sessions a week over the course of three months is the, is the part where you're going to be starting to fall apart at 15. If you're doing coaching right and giving it the appropriate time, energy and effort I've done as high as 42 sessions in a week. I've maintained 28 to 30 for three weeks straight and totally destroyed me. I did that intentionally. I didn't have to do it. I did it because there was a need for it. But on the other side of it, I wanted to see where the line was. So I knew to come back from it. Does that make sense? Just talking to you from the results perspective. As we think about break even, we got to be real clear that here's the costs of what we need to have our business sustain and us sustain. And as a small business owner or entrepreneur, those costs can be the same. Like for me, they're the same. Here's what I need from health insurance, from all this other stuff. Here's the total amount per month that I need to sustain at a break even level. And here's what that equates to in recurring revenue subscriptions. So if you look at $85 a month times 12 months, that's a thousand dollars a year, roughly, right? So if your break even is 60 K a year, you need 60 people paying you $85 a month to hit break even. You see how the math works? Now what you're doing for that $85 a month, hopefully isn't trading a lot of time for money, but rather it's leveraged, meaning that you're training once a month and maybe getting on zooms every so often too, to support them. So maybe three months out of the three days out of the month, you're doing work towards that $85 per person. And the rest of the month is yours. How does that feel? <music>